if Bitcoin hits $43,700, $400 million US dollars will be liquidated. In this video, we will be discussing the probabilities of this case happening and I will be telling you about some game coin which can do more than 60% in the near future and which already made a 16% profit. So if you want to know what is going to happen next, make sure you are watching this video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Samuel from IQ to Paradise and if you are in a crypto world you surely know about the ledger. There was a malicious version of the ledger connect kit. Many people lost loads of money again because of ledger. This is not the first time this happens to ledger and we never recommend that ledger. Actually we have been lobbying quite against it because their software is not open source and there might be quite a bad things happening in the future again. What we have recommended instead is Safeful. This is a software and also hardware wallet, absolutely amazing, backed by Binance. And we have been also three weeks ago recommending their token SFP. As you remember, I have been sharing with you the price of this token at 0.64. And right now we are more than 16% in profit already. However, this is a longer time frame analysis based on almost two years accumulation cycle finally breaking to the upside as you can see right here then we had this retest so we broke to the upside we got that retest and that's the time where we started to promote this token so not only we have broken the accumulation we are also in a medium time frame bull trend because you can see we are creating higher lows and higher highs right so this is a clear bull trend which is going to continue at the moment we are trading inside of an ascending triangle let me chart that very quickly for you so you can understand what the next price action on a lower time frame might look like with a highest probabilities so let me take this trend line here you can see we are created equal highs right same high so this is two equal highs so here will be a horizontal trend line and then we can put an ascending trend line down to the bottom so something like this right and i will extend this line right here i will delete this and you can see that we are creating an ascending triangle pattern so we have the highs at the same level right and we are creating high low after high low so this is a perfect example of ascending triangle pattern right now we are near to breaking out of that and i will share with you the potential target because if you scroll down in our blog post you can also learn how to calculate the target so you need to take the low you will put it to the high and then and you will basically put it above the horizontal line and that will tell you the approximate target if this pattern is going to break out so let me do exactly that this is our low right i will put it to the high we can see something around 60 percent 60 percent let me put it above the horizontal line and we can see that it's perfectly playing out with our resistance which i have been sharing with you before it is not only the target of a breakout of this ascending pattern but also it is our 0.618 fibonacci retracement level and in the past it was also working as a structure support as you can see right here for example which was later then turned into a resistance as you can see right here if i zoom in a little bit you can see that after breaking down of this level we have turned that into a resistance and then we continued in a bearish dry section so very important level and it seems like we will be revisiting that very very soon not only because the recent pump on a lower time frame as you can see this candle represent one daily time frame activity because right now we are looking at daily time frame but if i switch on a lower time frame let's say one hour you can see we had some pumping going on and we need to understand what kind of pumping is that is it a healthy pumping or is it basically just moved by leverage and for that you can take a look at the funding rates and as you can see sfp right 
and here you can see that the funding rates are quite neutral right so what we can understand from that is that this bump this move to the upside was actually moved by a spot position so spot buys and this is a very healthy price action and really adds to the probabilities that this ascending triangle is going to broken to the upside and we will be revisiting this resistance zone right here which can extend into around 50 to 60 percent move to the upside because i expect also this 0.786 fibonacci retracement level to be hit because we will be retesting also the structure zone right here right so not only it's fundamentally supported right now because of the ledger news and most of the people will be transferring their crypto and buying some other hardware wallets and safe pool is one of the best choices but also the technical analysis on this coin is looking very very good then i have some higher time frames as well which i will not be talking about right now i will be talking about them once we are able to reclaim this resistance but before that basically there will be most likely some kind of medium time frame correction so i'll not be talking about these levels yet but as you can see we are very optimistic on this coin let's go back to bitcoin right now as you can see i have been showing you in the beginning this liquidation heat map and as you can see loads of people is in a short positions right now and most of the liquidation levels and stop losses of these positions are placed at forty three thousand seven hundred dollars as you can see right here it's a heating hot right there and basically this level if it's going to be hit what that means that most of the short positions will be liquidated right will be stopped and what is going to happen well when a futures position which is placed on a short side that they are betting basically that the price of bitcoin is going to go down what is going to happen it will automatically after triggering buys right so the contract of the short position after it's being triggered in a stop loss or liquidation level it will automatically buy bitcoin so what will make that happen is that basically the bitcoin will start to move to the upside very easily right and we will be probably able to hit our forty-six thousand dollars mark right here but for that we need to have some confirmations because what can also happen is that bitcoin will basically go to the upside right trigger these stop loss levels and liquidation levels of that short positions basically in some kind of a wick and then it can start moving down there can be very volatile movement so we need to be very careful that this is just not a trap of bears to liquidate the short positions and then move bitcoin down to our cme futures gap if you have been watching our previous videos you know that we are looking forward that cme futures gap to be closed at around thirty nine thousand three hundred dollars this would actually help the whales to do so very easily because they will liquidate these shorts they will get that fuel and then they will be moving the bitcoin price down so for the confirmation of staying inside our consolidation cycle in around 43,000 to 46,000 we need to break firstly the 43,000 we will hit these liquidation levels bitcoin then will not be moved to the downside by the wells by triggering these liquidation levels however the buys will help push the bitcoin further to the upside wells will not be selling on that liquidity and we will start to slowly consolidate and as i said it will be perfect for altcoins this movement to the upside is already beneficial for altcoins as you can see on our others dominance which is moving exactly as i've been sharing with you in the previous video we are having a clear bull trend we have switched this resistance zone 11.30 percent into a support by the retest as you can see right here and now we are moving towards our 0.618 fibonacci retracement level oh i have deleted it let me put it back right here 0.618 fibonacci retracement level which is not anymore 19 percent above us it's just 12 to 13 percent above us right so we are heading here that means this other's dominance chart is basically dominance of altcoins and if we compare it with bitcoin dominance we can see while the altcoins dominance is increasing the bitcoin dominance is decreasing so what we can understand from it is that the money from the bitcoin basically flow into altcoins and this is making some of the strong altcoins like 
for example SFP is to pump. We can also quickly take a look at our dollar index chart what is happening it is beautifully being rejected by our resistance zone as you can see we have been retesting it so this resistance zone is right now confirmed and if I zoom in a little bit what is happening right now let's take a look at the Fibonacci retracement levels I will put it from the low to the high I will put a box into the zone so what we are doing right now what the dollar index is making from the price action analyst spectrum is that we have broken to the downside this was acting previously as a support and right now we are having a bearish retest and then we will continue in a downward pressure as you can see unlike bitcoin and some of the strong altcoins dollar index which is basically us dollar against every other currency is in a bear trend why because we are creating lower highs after lower highs and we are also creating lower lows right so clear bear trend which will continue in my opinion and as i have already shared with you many times in our previous videos and this is also why we have been perfectly been able to predict all that moves of bitcoin because basically we are comparing many indications many currencies together i expect dollar index to continue to dump towards our support zone higher time frame support zone here at around 92 however it will not go straight to the downside same as bitcoin will not just move parabolically towards our higher time frame target around $92,000 we expect from bitcoin actually to consolidate in our consolidation zone before we start to making some correction towards our higher time frame trend line right so every currency has its own cycles there is a bearish cycle there is a micro bearish cycle macro bearish cycle and also bullish cycles right so bitcoin cannot just go all the time straight parabolic we will soon have some correction which will take us to our trend line retest it and then we will continue to the upside so if you want to make money long term in this market you need to play it smart you need to play it strategically this is exactly what we are doing with our parallel similar vips so if you are ready to start trading like a pro i will see you in a parallel similar vip and if you want more updates from us visit our website and go to our free telegram channels it will make you definitely a better trader if you have enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button subscribe put the notification bell on so you don't miss any new timely updates and i will see you in the next video cheers